God on fire for you for you oh Lord will you set my life in order for you for you I want to know your ways I want to know your ways Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord While standing We'll be doing a lot of activities tonight And that will be very fast the first that we'll be having tonight is a session of prayer how many of you believe in the ministry of prayer when you pray and pray with understanding you are able to turn the tides of things even to your favor acts chapter 12 we're still standing we'll read from verse 1 to about 4 or 5 there's something i want to establish there please get ready to pray when it's time to pray pray like a priest pray without distraction you are edifying yourself and in the place of prayer you are settling issues concerning your life because some of you you are standing here representing yourselves your destinies and your families remember jesus said he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint Acts chapter 12 will start from verse 1 now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex Saturn of the church two and he killed James the brother of John with the sword and because he saw that it pleased the Jews he proceeded further to take Peter also then were the days of unleavened bread and when he had apprehended him he put him in prison a place of confinement a place where his voice will no longer be heard it says and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people read the next verse please verse 5 Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him listen to me prayer can bring anything that is in the prison to come out it doesn't have to be a human being alone your gifts that are dormant your abilities that are locked up everything that the devil has stolen the assignment of a prison is to keep you in a place of confinement so that your voice will no longer be heard so that your influence will no longer be heard so that your destiny would not find expression there are people in prisons today they are not dead they are alive but they are as good as dead because nothing can be heard from them listen in the next five ten or even 15 minutes you're going to take out time we're going to be praying in the spirit with every sense of seriousness why are we praying number one as a corporate atmosphere of prayer to cultivate your prayer life for some of you in this anointing tonight what god is going to be doing is restoring your prayer fire because it has gone down and believe me you cannot reign in life when the ministry of prayer is dead over your life number two you will be praying to edify yourself to build up capacity in the spirit and number three you're going to be praying releasing mysteries that God will bring everything that is locked up the gifts the graces the mantles the anointing the prophecies that have been kept in prison that will not let you find expression it must give way is someone ready to pray 
in the next 10 minutes no distraction it is between you and your savior open your mouth and cry like a priest go ahead and pray you are praying for the sake of your destiny if you want to walk around you can walk around you want to kneel you can kneel you want to lie you can lie but make sure you are praying no laziness no looking around pray for the sake of your destiny for the sake of those looking up to you for the sake of your family Arenta shala de bega de brato koto brake te leke tos. E braka ta brata ga de rekos ka de brato skotu brate ga de bele de bus. Shate brake te bere de gatos. E braka to to brato ske le brate ga de brato ski a da balado. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The flesh may be weak, but I assure you the spirit is willing. In the name of 
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. Father, revive my spiritual life. Revive my prayer life. Revive my word study life. Revive my character. For the next five to six minutes, let that be your cry from the depth of your heart. Purge me, wash me, cleanse me, bring personal revival to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Revive, revive my life, revive my destiny, revive my prayer altar, revive my passion for you, revive my passion for the world. Someone is praying. Ale baratoshka da branda gada prata gete e la praka toska li prati gede bele de bosh sa di branda gede bele de bosh from the depth of your heart let the fire of revival fall upon my life arabala shalaka tabrataka tabrataka Ebrakata baraka tushka tebrata gata belekoto. Shada branta gata bratuska ni bratuse siata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we are still praying. We are still praying a prayer of revival. Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two. We we'll start our reading from verse 1, we are reading to verse 4. Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus, write, This thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the stones, the, the seven golden candlesticks, verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor. I know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And hast found them liars. Next verse. And has born and has patience. And for my name's sake you have labored and you have not fainted however verse 4 nevertheless i have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love five it says remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else i will come unto you quickly and I will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick, except thou repent. You are ready to pray. Father, purge me and restore. Restore to me my spiritual experiences. Restore the visions. Restore the dreams. Restore the anointings. Restore the graces. Every virtue I have lost 
through carelessness every virtue i have lost through indiscipline every virtue i have lost through lukewarmness revive our lord god restore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Revive a local. Restore, 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 restore. Restore fire. Restore dreams. Abrataska de Beleketos, Embrataka Paracata Paracatos, Cotto Brandega de Beleketo. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. 